and welcome to Coast to Crafts. So I'm back with a bit of a mixed haul from here and there. Um, so let's have a look and see what I have picked up this week. Um, first of all, I did pop into um, Hobbycraft and they had this cute paper down to £2 called Summer Lights by Pink Paisley. Um, so it's really bright and colourful but really pretty. I've got a, a mango who's just put her paw in my drink. Um, but like that one, absolutely love that, like a sunset piece, which it does go that way up, doesn't it? With that being the sea, that's beautiful. I love that sheet. That's what won it over for me. But lovely colours and sort of seaside bits with the shells and some words. Ooh. Clouds, and like that's really nice as well. And even if you die cut out that, you'd get um, a lovely image, wouldn't you, with those colours? And of course, I love wood, so that's useful. Um, I guess if you're being very creative, you could have little pictures in each box. Little ice creams. That's pretty, isn't it, with the flowers? I do like this sort of ombre colour scheme. And love the water, of course. Lots of words. And that's nice, having the seashells. So you could do kind of a seasidey one, a bit more of a vibrant. Please don't put your paw into my drink again, thank you. And then I think, are we back for round two now? So we've got some cut parts. Seahorses, aren't they? I thought they were mermaids, but they're actually seahorses. And some more cut parts. And then I think we are back to start. So that was reduced to two pounds. Really cute. Um, what else did I get? Not too much in hobby craft. I just picked up these stickers for 50p because I thought they were really cute, the little cats. I think someone has gifted me a few of these before, but they're so gorgeous. I don't want to go stick them on, but they're really cute. Um, another thing I got in, can you stop doing that mango? Do you want to say hello? So this little kitty cat has had her mouth in the drink that I've been drinking. And um, just some needle threaders because I managed to break mine um, because the needle thread is also broken on my sewing machine. So this helps me to thread it. But these ones look quite cool. So they've got a little cutter on there as well. So if you do any sewing, they were £2.20 from Hobbycraft. Not used them yet, so, but I'll let you know what I think. And she's back. So that was Hobbycraft. Pop that one out of the way. Um, then moving on, I went to um, the range and picked up this pot of paint. So who doesn't need more chalk finished paint in white? Just a really useful colour. Down to £1 from £5. So I thought even though I've got a pot that I haven't finished using, that will definitely be very useful. So I picked that one up. Then I've got this Fluxify collection. So down to £5. Um, it's a matte mirror card. And you get 28 pieces of this really nice card. The only thing is that the few sheets that were the front had some sort of light, um, I guess you call that almost like staining, you know, where the lights shone on it and there's been bits of cards like this, which has had an impact. So we'll just ignore that because I kind of knew that there was going to be some impact on the front one. So I was okay about that. But you get this lovely green. It tells you what colours they are. Turquoise. Okay. Midnight blue. You get mauve, it looks slightly different on camera, just a bit darker probably, and dusky pink, which is really pretty. So yeah, I was happy to get those. They also had them in the Enchanted colour collection, which was fairly similar, just a tiny bit dark. A bit darker or a tiny bit lighter, I can't remember. One or the other, but very similar colours, but I went for this one. But I thought for £5, the quality is really nice. I thought that would be useful. Um, and I have had a go at embossing with it because that's kind of what appealed to me doing a bit of embossing um just so you can see how it comes out and i think it looks really nice that's just using an ordinary embossing folder and just yeah really nice this one you can see a bit of the light damage again on there but i love this embossing folder this was free with the magazine it's the world it's a globe really nice so that's how that card comes out. What else do I get from the range? Um, there were lots of things I could have got and I kept putting stuff back as being very good. So I just got some tape because I've been running out of this again. That was £1.50 for the thin one. And then this one was reduced. So sweet treats, paper bag kit down to £1.99. Um, originally £4. And I've been looking at this collection for a while. I think it's really cute. And I thought I'm just going to treat myself to something from it when it's in the sale. 
Um, I've got these to be really useful for putting in Happy Mail. So you do get a bit of the twine, which is always useful. What do you think, Mango? And you get some tags. You get one that looks like this. And you get a little treat for you. One that's got the sugary sprinkles on. Then you get this design in the small size of bag. You get three of those. Then you get three of these that are quite a bit bigger, as you can see. And then you get the large bag, which is a good size for putting, you know, you'd fit like a, a stamp set or something in there. So really cute little bags if you're interested in those in the range. So that's what I got from the range and I think we are on to stuff that I have ordered online. And this one popped into Oxfam and just got some um, decoupage paper. I just thought it was really pretty. It was 99p so it wasn't particularly cheap or anything but um, at least you know the money's going to charity and I just thought that was quite a sweet design. So there seemed to be quite a lot of it in there. That's plenty so we have to gift some of that out as well. Um, and then we're on to online stuff. So over on eBay, I picked up a Bow Bunny paper pad. This was $1.99, um, including posting. And I do just like a bit of Bow Bunny. It's a pop quiz collection. I got this because it was kind of school-like and um, I could just imagine myself making, I've got those kind of teacher school images um, stamps and I thought I could make some little bookmarks on ones like that and also maybe some cards for my TA and probably cards for my partner as well so that kind of appeals to me I quite like that hound's tooth and then it all repeats so I do like bow bunny paper but that could just be my my taste and I've got this 3d embossing folder because I realized I needed more Christmassy stuff and I've got an embossing folder with no flakes on but it's only like a four by six one and I found it just wasn't quite big enough um, for card backgrounds. If I wanted to have a background, then put something on the front. It just wasn't quite big enough. And I do like these 3D ones by Crafters Companion. So I got this one on eBay. It's about three or four pounds, including postage. Um, so normally seven pounds. So slightly better deal. And you can see how it comes out. So you do get that nice just difference in height don't you with the 3d embossing folders I'm, I'm quite keen on them this is using the hunky dory what do you call it adorable scorable card and i think that's just really pretty for like a background and then you have something else on the front of your christmas cards so yep happy with that one um and then also from ebay and also a little bit Christmassy. I've got this set of four stamp sets and some of them come with dies. So where shall I start? So there's this one. So they all look like postage stamps and I just really like that. So as you can see, and it did come with a little die to cut that out. Um, and then there's some little ones. So they're by Whimsy in case you're wondering and they also came with a little stamp and then the bigger I mean the little die the bigger die matches these ones that aren't Christmassy and then there was these ones as well that I don't think match they wouldn't match the dies but they are really cute kind of French seed packets almost or something to do with flowers and I have had fun cutting these out because I think they're going to make great little ephemera and embellishments on things that's some of the little ones that's the non-christmassy ones cute aren't they so i was trying with white ink and embossing in white ink that was another one that worked a bit better with that white ink i'm not having much luck a lot of people were like all oh, that white stays on ink that you picked up i picked up a car boot sale that doesn't last you have to keep re-inking it and they're very right every time you want to use it basically you have to re-ink it but i did get it at car boot sale for about pounds so it wasn't the end of the world um mango you're destroying everything so some more of these little ones they're sweet aren't they so just cute little things to add on to christmas cards that was having a go at culling some of them in so I've got different ways of doing it to see what I think and what I like. Oh, and I think I've got ones with the um, plant ones on as well. 
as you can see it's French so it's going to go in my Paris album that was embossing in a pink ink which didn't work overly well but yeah so that's those they were cute um I think I paid about 12 pounds 50 or 13 pounds or something for all four sets in a in a lot but I do really like them so that's fine and the last thing I think that I picked up online, and this is um, probably the fault of Michelle Dobby because she sent me a gorgeous pocket letter using these Stamperia Alice in Wonderland stamps. And of course I had to pick them up. Um, they were on eBay, they're about 10 pounds and they are gorgeous. They're rubber stamps. Um, I'll quickly show you what they look like so you can see yeah nice quality stamps and a good size and I've only had a little play and I wanted to colour them in I couldn't think what colours I should be colouring him in I have to have a little look so I gave him a pink shirt because I didn't want it to be white and white um, but also they look nice just in black and white so I'll have a bit more of a play around with them that was just kind of a little indulgent treat because I've seen them and, and wanted them um, and yes, I think that is all the bits and pieces that I have been picking up this week. Um, I've still got some AliExpress stuff to show you, but I was waiting for a few more bits to come in. So that will be in a future haul. Um, and I was looking around to see if there was something that I've made to show you, but I can't see it now. So I will speak to you very soon. Bye.